So this is pretty big news for us. You may have guessed it from watching our vlogs because I'm kind of updating you after the fact, but this is like life-changing news. them when we get home the kids have a special karate project we are going to put together they do a really good job of having an at-home project that builds character this time we're working on respect and as they show respect they go up in belt and they have to get to a black belt before graduation if they don't make it they don't graduate so I think that's really cool and the kids have a little dial that measures how respectful they've been and that we, we need to put those together and we will show them to you because I really 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 think they are so cool so I'm glad you guys are here so, so guys, cute. this is the respectometer. It says track your child's respect using the belts on the other sheet. Once the child earns a belt, it cannot be taken away. Encourage them to show respect to make their way up to the black belt. Once your child has earned their black belt and respect, bring this back in for a discipline strike. So what you do is cut both circles out, stack them on top of each other, yeah, and then um, you can connect them through this with a little brad, or we're just gonna cut it and fold it over so they stick together. Here you go, guys. Ta-da, I'm done. Yeah. Mommy, this is actually how you're supposed to do that. No bow, black bow. Mm -hmm. You gotta be nice with it. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. It's all one. Okay, stack them on top of each other. Okay, I'm going to be no the belt showing. black belt showing. And then paper clip it together. <laughs> Do you see it? It's a black belt. Mm -hmm. Black belt. Mm -hmm. All right, I let's do see it. it. I do a lot of cutting in my class. Oh, you do? Yeah. Writing? Mm -hmm. No belt. We there it is. So that's what it looks like. So when sunshine shows respect, we will take this paper clip off I and love spin you. it to a white belt. I love you. And then we'll clip it back together. Put it on that belt. Yeah. So what's something you guys are gonna do to show respect? I just did it, thank you. Yeah, good manners is respect. How about you, big man? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's respect also. Answering their it's questions. Good manners. Do I get a white belt? An example I heard was um, when your mom's speaking to you, you don't play on your electronics. You make eye contact. Well, that's what I do. So I, so. I should already be a black belt. I think so. I'm already respectful. It's so easy. So I have a really great idea for those respectometers. I feel like our kids get respect for their parents. They always show us respect. But one thing they don't do is show each other respect. So I'm gonna ask the coaches if instead of being a respect your parents meter, it can be respect your siblings because that is definitely something they need to strengthen. So this is pretty big news for us. You may have guessed it from watching our vlogs because I'm kind of updating you after the fact, but this is like life-changing news. Big news. 
This is a huge change in our lives. We've already started it, and I think it's probably gonna change our channel a little bit too. Why? I was listening. <laughs> So mommy went back to work full time. That means eight hours a day, five days a week, I am in an office. I was working at home before that, and so I was home all the time and really flexible, able to do anything the family needed at any time, and now I can't do that. I am at work, and daddy has been amazing, stepping up, being available, helping with everything he can, and has made it a really easy transition for me. But I'll tell you, Doing the vlog also has been really, really hard. So this is how my days have been going. I'm going to work all day, getting home, doing the family time, putting the kids to bed, getting started on the vlog around 9, 30, 10 o'clock, and then working on it until one or two o'clock in the morning, going to bed, and then getting up at six to get back to work. And that is not enough sleep. I was exhausted. So Dan and I talked, and we got a few ideas of how we can, you know, be a little more proactive and keep working on the channel because we really like being daily vloggers. We like interacting with you guys. We like putting our story out there and making these vlogs. We really want to keep being daily vloggers. So these are the ideas we are trying out to see if we can keep going, hang in there and be daily vloggers still. So the first thing is mommy is done helping the family at 8 p.m. So if you wanna be tucked in by mommy, you have to be ready for bed before 8 p.m. or I can't tuck you in, daddy has to tuck you in. The other thing we're trying to do is we made a plan of you know what's happening on what day so that we know exactly what to film. Because without a plan, you film everything and then you have tons of video that you have to go through and edit and find you know what is the story of today. And so, we're gonna make a plan and that way we know exactly what we're gonna film that day and be able to be more proactive and plan it and not spend as much time filming and editing. So I'm gonna give this a try for a couple weeks. We started probably Monday night and I kept forgetting to tell you guys about this and it's going a lot better. I have been getting to bed 10, 11 o'clock and I've been getting so little sleep up until that point that I still feel exhausted. But I think I'm catching up and it's feeling better. I'm really hopeful that we can stick with the daily vlogs and interact with you guys every day. And I think it's gonna work. But we're gonna try it for a couple weeks and we'll see how it's going. And I appreciate you guys being here today. I hope we see you tomorrow. Bye.